Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna create a card with a pull tab. And I actually started out by uh, stamping two of these images from the uh, Mama Elephant Up and Away stamp set. And um, I stamped out this little bunny and the umbrella. And now I'm gonna color, color this in and you can see the colors here. I will show you them before I get started. I am zooming in a little bit so you can see how I'm doing this a little bit closer. As always, I'm no expert on coloring in. I'm just pouncing on some colors. <laughs> just making sure that it looks uh, pretty okay. Now I can see I'm a little bit off camera. I hope I fix it soon and that it don't get any worse. You never know with me because I don't know where I am when I'm uh, zooming in this much on my camera. So here we had actually speeded this up a little bit. I'm using this uh, pattern paper from this Heidi Swap uh, uh, paper pad. I think it's called Favorite Things. And uh, I actually fussy cutted uh, that little bunny out by hand and drew a little uh, black line around it. If you have seen my previous videos, you will see me do that technique before. Here I die cutted uh, a cl um, I die cutted a white piece of Nina, uh, I think that is 110 cardstock and I just like added up with my uh, border, uh, cloud border from Lone Farm. Here I'm trimming down my card base a little bit so it fits a little bit better on that one. And when I'm pleased with this I will actually fibble around a little bit with this. When I'm pleased with this I will actually start to figure out where I want my slider part to be because I want that little um, bunny to be a little bit covered not the entire thing but a little bit so that is what you see me doing here measuring this and also seeing how far far up I want this to go and when I'm done with that I am going to be um, cutting with a blade this slider portion out you can see I'm using my chi ruler here just to get a straight line and when I'm done with that, I'm just turning it around and doing the same thing from the other side. And this don't have to be perfect at the, at the ends because this will be covered up uh, for the most parts. Um, so that person at the top, I'm a little bit more careful with than the part on the bottom. So here we have it. I think it looks pretty and you can see how it will move in there. Uh, to make sure that this um, uh, that this won't yeah actually you can see here that I'm just drawing a couple of lines and I just will cut out uh, a little bit of a bigger piece than the the lines that I draw in so here we have it and I'm gonna adhere this the back side of this. I'm just using some strong double sided tape. And then adhering that to the back side. And then once again I'm drawing in where I want this to be. And then I'm just adhering that down. So it will be covered up. Here we have it. And then we're gonna work on this cloud portion of this card. And I think I will double this fun foam up because I think it will look a little bit funny if you don't do that. So I think I will do it. Let's see. Maybe, maybe not. Yes, I'm doing it. <laughs> Good. It was a couple of weeks um, since I done did this card, so I'm doing the voiceover. A little bit later and that is why you see me like wait a minute what did I do here <laughs> um, so yeah now I'm taking some uh, acetate uh, and I just cut it down a small strip of acetate and I'm gonna adhere it to the bunny and actually you will see here that I will be fibbling around how, uh, with how to do this because you can see I'm just have it there and it will be like 
the umbrella is sometimes stuck in and that is why I'm doubling this up. Uh, and it looks fine in the end. This card have pretty much dimension but I think it will hold up pretty good through the mail. And uh, of course I forgot that I wanted to stamp a sentiment to this card so I'm just using my ink pad here and uh, the VersaFine Onyx Black pad just to not uh, damage uh, all the work we've done with this panel and that worked out fine it wasn't a problem but if you're doing this card please make sure that you aren't having the problem that I am having right now and actually I think I will be needing to take this away again I might have forgotten something or oh, wait didn't I let's see I'm adhering this uh, front panel too <coughs> like that and this pull tab I will work a little bit more with I am I took some strips of gold papers and then I punched out a gold heart and to the top of that I will adhere that and there we have it I think we're done um, to embellish this a little bit I'm taking some pretty pink parse mixed sequence uh, in the clear ones and just scattering them around the card and guys if you want to do something like this it was really simple and I'm sorry for the like a little bit lazy voiceover and uh, it's early here in Sweden and I had to do it before I got to work so hope you forgive me for that one and that you appreciated this project anyway um until next time have a fabulous day and if you want to see more of my work you can always subscribe to my channel here at youtube or visit me at instagram my name is scrapbooking underline sweet until next time have a great day <laughs>